कुछ तो लोग कहेंगे लोगों का काम है कहना छोड़ो बेकार की बातों से प्रोफेसर अकुजम फर्स्ट ऑफ ऑल थैंक यू सो मच फॉर योर टाइम एज यू स्पीक द इलेक्शंस आर ओवर आई ask you about your experience today but your experience as a leader contesting lok sabha election that's very important to understand yeah then i think i have taken the right decisions uh, that's what the experience tells me because if the uh, political leadership uh, has done enough for the people that i would not have bothered to join uh, party politics or electoral politics i i am happy with my profession academics and intellectual life is part and parcel of my i mean it's in my bone marrow uh what has happened to manipur in the last couple of months or almost now a year has compelled me you know to come in and i think i have taken the right decisions there you the situation in manipur compelled you to take a plunge into politics but why congress and why not bjp yeah see first of all there are a couple of issues involved i think the government in new delhi as well as in nepal is under bjp and they have terribly failed so i have no reasons to join uh, my mind was to resist the kind of damage that has been done to my home state i've always believed that you know india is made up of various states uh there are tamils there are maharashtrians there are bengalis there are biharis there are kashmiris there are nagas there are assamese manipuris and so on without these constitutive elements there is nothing called nation to me nation is these elements uh i can't imagine a nations at the expense of my home state if manipur is destroyed I don't know how would I experience India. So I felt terribly upset and disturbed by what has happened to my state. It's been broken into pieces. The estrangement among communities, I never thought that we would have this kind of estrangement, the kind of violence, the kind of lawlessness, utter failure of the state to rein in the violence. So you are saying BJP has failed Manipur? Yeah, of, of of course. is absolutely a, no one should have a second opinion do you think that they have done enough do you tell me yourself india has seen many communal violence none has been like this people roaming around with arms as if it's like a you know a third world ethnic conflict something that you see in rwanda for example we have a witness this complete lawlessness and uh, as a native of this state i have never thought that my community for example or for the matter anybody in this state will not be allowed to move from one place to another union home minister says that there are forces who are trying to divide manipur but i uh, i have been to manipur and i tried traveling from here to the other uh, you know to the hills as well and in the past several occasions my only experience is that i have crossed a buffer zone even the term like buffer zone is terrible mm. i said it is like partition you know shifting population from one area to another this has never happened you flatten the residential colony in churachandpur for example uh, if you look at un literature uh, it fits the bill of uh, you know the phenomenon called ethnic cleansing you want to make a particular area homogeneous Uh, ethnically homogeneous by cleaning by cleansing other ethnic group uh, and they try to erase all imprints of the fact that there were mites in that place you should remember that after they shifted out colonies have been flattened to the ground using bulldozers right under the nose of the administrations so that is the complicity of the state so they are effecting a partition in this state uh, and that you use it are you like trying to say are you trying to say that bjp has divided manipur yes 
this government and you know uh, the BJP has divided. I have no doubt. You, it's just there in front of us. You go to Chura Chanpur and see the residential colonies of Maitais. But in contrast to you come here in Imphal, you will see that even though there are uh, you know, empty houses, none of them have been flattened to the ground the way it has been. But it has when I spoke with the chief minister, he said that, look, BJP has done inner line permit, BJP has done that, uh, are and they are trying to convince people that BJP will no, bring... Wait, let's, let's forget about ILP, FMR, and all kinds of these stuff. Huh. Let me ask you a question. Is it possible for a mate to move? to Churachampur, to go to Moray, or to go to Dimapur? Today, as I talk to you, you tell me. Is this what their contribution is? And it is vice versa and also. I, it is vice versa. People from the hills and other places. That's the same thing I'm saying. The citizens have not been able to move from one place to another. Uh, Professor Akwicham, uh, your, you said that because of your land, you have taken this plunge to jump into politics. And I'm sure there is a different emotion working in your mind. Uh, because you're a native out here. Uh, but as a people's representative, if you, if you get elected and if you become a member of parliament, a people's representative is actually considered to be a representative of the land. Uh, will you be okay representing people belonging to communities outside my well, See, there are two ways of looking at it. <clears throat> what is an MP? MP is a people's representative partaking in the national affair. Mm. I'm not the sole representative of Manipur as such. Right. It is essentially to, to partake in national affairs. Mm. Right? I mean, I, I can pick up issues from Maharashtra or from Kerala. It's my right to speak mm. because I'm a member of, if I get elected as a member of parliament, I, I can represent any damn people in this country, their grievances and their issues. Mm. <coughs> uh, so in that sense, you have a constituency. My constituency has many communities as mm. well. Mm. So I'll be taking care of them. I'll be representing their voice as well in my constituency. There are people belonging to uh, communities <coughs> outside Methi and possibly they who are now displaced and settled in... Uh, yeah, all kinds of people, different communities. So you are, you, you are willing to be the representative if you're elected? My constituency, as far as my constituency, anybody who is a legitimate citizen of my constituency, I'll be their representative. When I speak to people on the, uh, on the ground, they say they want better representation of Manipur. Uh, this I want to ask you not as a Congress candidate. I want to ask you as a citizen of Manipur. Did it hurt you that the member of parliament of Manipur did not get adequate opportunity to talk about Manipur violence inside the parliament, which is known to be the temple of democracy? I mean, nobody could speak out. Yeah, there has been a gig, it, quite obviously, that even the Manipur Legislative Assembly member don't speak. It seems that the high command said, keep what? So they, they keep your mouth shut. There's not a single voice. What do you mean by high command? Delhi. Okay. Just the grievances that the people have, mm -hmm. that our representatives, be mm -hmm. that in parliament or in the assembly, mm -hmm. They didn't speak up for the people's pain and so on. This is allowed to linger on for almost a year now. So... No confidence debate and a debate on Manipur? I think it's not only the people's representative from the state, but it is the, the other members from any other parts. You know, if they feel that Manipur is part of the nation, then they should speak up. I think Tarun Gogoi did. Mm. Um, I think any member has a right to speak for... Opposition leaders, uh, Rahul Gandhi did, Trinamool Congress leaders did. Uh, we have uh, to speak, yeah. but not necessarily in terms of political partitions, if, you know, partition politics. Uh, um, it's a basic concern for your fellow citizens who are suffering. Mm. Uh, I mean, this is an unbelievable that the Prime Minister did not speak he could have solved this problem by calling all his MLAs and asked them to talk and instructed to, to rein in the violence and, and ensure that the read of the state works, uh, which he didn't. He never came also. Yeah, that's, 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 that's strange. 
But Union Home Minister Amit Shah, who came back to uh, Imphal after 320 days since he first visited on 29th of May 2023 and stayed here for three days, this time during election campaign he said, Manipur ka dost Prime Minister Modi, uh, North East ka dost, unko tisri bar Pradhan Mantri banna pare. Yeah, banana this, pare. This, this is uh, putting salt to injury. Why they would, whole ministry would call separately the Kuki MLA separately, the Naga MLA separately, while keeping the uh, MLAs from the Central uh, Valley, uh, you know, quiet. Uh, that's why I said they are hand in gloves with some elements to destroy Manipur. Uh, Chief Minister N. Biren Singh said that he is uh, committed to resolve the issue and he is also confident of BJP winning uh, the inner Manipur Lok Sabha constituency seat from where you are contesting and he is also confident of outer Manipur seat going to the uh, their ally. Uh, uh, what's your take on the election? Are you confident? Yeah, I think I'm pretty confident. You see a lot of riggings and unprecedented, you know, in Manipur. It's, a lot of people are very angry today. If you go in the field and you will sense people are very angry today. Uh, you know, there's a change of perceptions among people. Um, uh, these, these, that's why they're scared. These people's anger and dissatisfaction is going to express in terms of their voting behavior. And that's why uh, some uh, crooks have been deployed to create havoc and violence, rigging the poll. I went up to a place where an EV machine was set ablaze. Uh, it reveals the mindset of the government. I, I hope the ECI takes care of some of these issues. Mm -hmm. uh, Professor uh, Akwisham, you know, how many Congress leaders did come here for campaigning? in your favor. Did, uh, I know Mr. Rahul Gandhi came and kick-started his Bharat Juru Neyatra from... It's Man not related with election. Yeah. Yeah. How many? None, none. Okay. N nobody came? Nobody came. None of the Congress senior leadership came? Yeah. I mean, uh, there was a very short notice mm. and then we were planning, but finally we've decided not to call. Why? Why did you call the senior leadership Rahul Gandhi, Priyanka Gandhi, uh, Sonia Gandhi, know, Malik Arjun Khadri? The campaign is subdued this time because okay. partly because the violence and some elements says that there should be no campaign and so on. Mm -hmm. But uh, BJP was allowed to do that. They had a massive public meeting. Of Amit Shah? Uh, Amit Shah Minister. and so on. And that was two days before the uh, deadline of huh. the campaign uh, came into effect. Uh, so we thought that, you know, this is a blessing in disguise, guys, one level. Uh, you know, I've been campaigning about uh, muscle powers and money power during election. Uh, so it's a blessing in disguise. We didn't have big time. I would have loved, though, people like Gaurav from Assam to come. And, uh, you know, it would have been lovely, but it didn't happen. You have said this is, this is a failure of the double engine Sarkar. You are a Congress candidate or a fine. But what about the responsibility of Congress? Congress had been in power in the country for decades put together. And this is not the first time that there had been uh, you know, violence that has happened in Manipur. Manipur has a very bitter history, unfortunately. No, not this kind of election. Not this kind of. No, no. Election rigging and others. You know, it started Just not election, sir. I'm talking about general violence. No, that's a, it's, it's a conflict zone. Uh -huh. You should remember that the uh, it is one of the areas where there are multi-layered conflicts. You know, there's a conflict between the non-state forces or political armed groups uh, and, and the Indian state and its security apparatus. Uh, we have inter-community estrangement. Uh, we have all kinds of problems. Mm -hmm. So what you're saying is nothing new in that sense. It's been part and parcel of it. But uh, in election to see such kind of violence and rigging, it is unprecedented. But the violence in the past, do you think Congress had been able to control them better? Yeah. I mean, in 2015, Chura Champur went up in flame. And I think the then government under Siri Bobi, they controlled 
I know you have had a long day. You have been traveling all across. But then I need to ask you this question, Professor Akresham. How do you plan to unite Manipur? You know, I get the point that if you elected as a member of parliament, you have a constituency to represent. But as a leader, there is a larger sense yeah, of responsibility. I have, I have, I have already laid out my 13 point agenda. Mm -hmm. So one of the things is, uh, just as in our party's uh, manifesto, we talk about uh, reconciliation commission we should remind you of the Truth and Reconciliation Commission in South Africa. So because you have so much estrangement among communities, one best way is to do uh, this kind of commission and then encourage uh, inter-community dialogue and to establish mutual understanding. And that's one agenda that I have in my mind. Mm -hmm. And, you know, it's not only symbolic, we must also look into substantive issues of political and economic kinds as well. We will win both in the hill and the valley, you will see Congress MPs. Okay. If it slips out, that means the extent of the rigging has been massive. We will be assessing it tomorrow though. Okay. And in case, in case if it slips out, mm -hmm. what would happen to Professor Mimol Akwejam? I will you guess. will you continue with your commitment to public service or you will get back to academics no, I, and say Tata bye bye to Congress no, and no. I politics. will work because that's a commitment. I, I will work as, as part of the party member, particularly from the intellectual sale probably. Uh, but as you said, I'll be get I'll get back to my profession and do the job. But I'll as far as public issues are concerned, I have been involved. Mm. Uh, you know, I've been outspoken in that sense. You, you also write articles in regular columns and speak of when the public issues come in public meetings and so on. But in case you get to win, another hypothetical question, will you stay in Congress forever? Because it is nothing new. In politics, there are no strange bedfellows and there are no permanent enemies. Really? Might, you might not like BGP now, but is there, is and, and abhi naya door hai guarantee. So uh, is there any guarantee coming in from Professor Bimol Akwejam that he will, if he wins, he will never join BJP? You know, I think um, as long as the interests of my states is served, mm. that's my priority. But it also, I have also ideological considerations. I love, uh, you know, uh, that ideology which respect multicultural and differences and celebrating differences. BJP does that? Uh, I'm not sure. Uh, so that's my concern. Mm. And I'm a deeply liberal. I respect people's freedom. Is BJP liberal? So they have liberal components among them. Mm -hmm. they, they are conservative, quite mm -hmm. obviously. Mm -hmm. And, and uh, uh, there are liberal elements within that, that I know. But many of their practices, the recent practices, including by our state government, is against uh, some of the liberal principles and practices. I am, uh, freedom I am, of speech is one mm. area. And I don't quite like calling, uh, you know, people with different ideologies as destrohi or anti-nationals, you mm. know. We may differ on our ideological plane and how this country should be run. You and I may differ, but that difference doesn't invite you to be termed as an anti-national or destrohi. Mm. That kind of a vocabulary, I, I mean, I, I, I often say to my student also, you think about it, uh, during Quit India movement, uh, neither the RSS nor the left mm. uh, joined, but I don't think Nehru or Gandhi ever called them Desdrohi or international. But you take those uh, diatribes seriously? The, our home minister in his speech in the public meeting, in uh. fact, say this professor is part of the uh, Tukre Tukre gang. Uh, he said in his Imphal oh, speech. So according to him, you are trying to do the tukre tukre of Manipur. And, and because I come from JNU, that's ah. that's the that's the uh, impression. And but we shouldn't forget that JNU has immensely contributed to the national, uh, you know, goods. Mm. In fact, Modi ji has two of his cabinet ministers, powerful ones from JNU. Mm. They are ex JNUite, mm. Jay Shankar and yep. uh, Sitaraman. You know, it's a, it's a, I mean, this. They've been doing this. Anybody from JNU, and thankfully our vice chancellor has been speaking up against that. You know, we have been contributing to this. I believe it's a wonderful institution. I, I feel privileged and blessed 
that I, 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 I become a faculty member of this university. This is a precious university. Okay. If, 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 if they who called you Tukre Tukre or anti-national, if they are watching this, what would be your response? I would say like Kishore Kumar's Gana Jwai, na? Kuch to log kehenge logon ka kaam hai kehna, na? Chhodo bekaar ki baat hai. ये इसमें तो सुर भी तो था सर वो अगर थोड़ा लगा देते तो गाना ही बन जाता <laughs> दो लाइन सुना देंगे क्या yeah. आपका अगर पसंदीदा गाना है तो दो लाइन सुना दीजिए इलेक्शन का माहौल है हाँ. अगर आप जीत गए तब तो बड़े इंसान हो जाएंगे तब आपको कहा बोल पाएंगे कि आप इंस्पायरिंग <laughs> But you know the song? Yeah, 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 Two lines. Song. Two lines. You really want me to yeah, sing? Yeah, yeah, I want you to sing. <laughs> <coughs> okay, let me, my voice is cracked I, because of this speech. And I can I know, try. It's something like this. Kuch to log kahenge Logon ka kaam hai kahna छोड़ो बेकार की बातों से कहीं बीत न जाए वेरी नाइस सर आई लव योर वॉइस मे बी आफ्टर नाउ दैट यू हैव अ ब्रेक टिल द रिजल्ट्स कम आउट यू कैन एक्चुअली गेट बैक टू सिंगिंग अगेन प्रैक्टिस इट एंड आई एम सो ग्लैड दैट आई स्पोक टू यू यू नो आई हैव बीन कवरिंग मणिपुर फॉर सो मेनी मंथ्स एंड दिस टाइम ड्यूरिंग द इलेक्शन टाइम पीपल न्यू दैट आई हैव कम हियर एंड ऑल आर कॉमेंटिंग गो टॉक टू प्रोफेसर बीमल आकेजम गो टॉक टू हिम वाई एंड यू टॉकिंग टू हिम I I I didn't I couldn't tell them because I came here on 17th and I came here in the evening by the time I reached here the silent period had started any any message for the people who have been insisting that I do your interview yeah this thank you for sending tamil to me uh, <laughs> it's nice talking to you it's a unlikely politician I I love my professions and I love my students students that i've trained from kerala to kashmir from gujarat to nagaland they are my souls they are my life uh even if i get elected you know my plan is to request the university to allow me to teach for a month every semester okay uh, but maybe if you if you win you have to first teach love and heal manipur because that, that's that's the way my dream is to do that I know to create a united Manipur where every community and citizens can live with peace and dignity and with a sense of well-being. That's it did, did disappoint you that not many people in India speak. Or forget about politicians. There are celebrities. There are many people who could have spoken about Manipur, but they chose they, to. They, they, that I knew since since for a long long time. If you follow my many of uh, my writings and uh, interview, uh, there is a gap between the uh, India's northeast and the so-called mainstream. Uh, it 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 is everywhere in policy in academia in even social theorizations uh, the gap is there that that gap is there so it hurts me when somebody says that it really hurts me because i don't see the gap i don't see the gap when i actually meet a people from a person from manipur it's, it's there see for example if i keep on talking about since something that i did uh, north is is an anthropological subject not a historical subject Uh, that exclusion in academic world uh in only when something sensational happened the media will be interested i i did actually a uh, analysis of the national media's reporters of the crisis mm-hmm. uh it's it's a huge unbelievable uh you know distortions that you know and the press council of india standard is not been followed by these media houses It thank you so much thank you so much i wish you all the best and we get to speak again after the results come out and we thank would you. see whether you uh, offer me mishti or some some snacks uh, as no, celebratory or <laughs> or or you you uh, decide to stay quiet and then decide to go back to academics again we have to wait and see, see one thing you should remember the doctors and academics don't retire we you know doctors just don't stop treating patients the day he retires so teachers don't stop doing research you know 
doing mental work but if you win sir when you say that i am unlikely a politician uh, there are two different uh, two different words one is unlikely politician uh, the other one is unsuitable politician uh, because you are new and i can say this much sir if you win do not ever become an unsuitable politician yeah, absolutely you are bang on target that's what i i i want and i will I'll be keeping a close fact, watch on that <laughs> i didn't do this even in my pictures okay i yeah. i resisted it yeah yeah that's the way i Well thank you so much thank you so much it was lovely talking to him and the fact that he did sing a song even after such a hectic day a day which has seen so many incidents of violence and of course reports of boot rigging poll rigging and of course given the fact that election in Manipur I've been repeating this from day one since I came here for election coverage the elections happening here under the shadows of violence with the memory of violence it has been definitely a challenge for somebody to make a foray into politics and then straight into the election battle we will be keeping a close watch as what transpires on june 4th and definitely we also would keep a close watch as whether if he gets elected to parliament whether he remains as an unlikely politician unsuitable politician or the suitable politician of manipur the ideal representative with video journalist roni shatra here in imphal this is tamal shah for news the truth ntt